Another one of our, I guess uh, we're going to call it a pet peeve, a GMS here is uh, is the presumed uh, formula that many tractor pullers see about how to win an event. So all winter long, this is what we work on. This is this is every effort we put into is going to the dyno. We got to get to the dyno. We got to get to the dyno. We got to get to the dyno. We try a new turbo. We're going to try a new pump. We got to make sure we got the right amount of horsepower. And then they worry about this all winter long, <clears throat> and then. The actual effort put into the, the rest of their program is very little because all the effort is put right here. Well, that is, you, you can't buy a win in the dyno. There's so many more things that go into winning an event than, than this. Some guys will do a little bit more, you know, maybe they maybe they come down here and they, <clears throat> okay, we're going to spare parts is here, right? Um, and they put a little bit of effort into that. Well. Spend all your time on the dyno, and you don't get to, uh, you know, to plan the rest of your season. Then you're going to fail. Um, so we're going to take this away here and here, and I'm going to say that this much roughly needs to be going into planning your season now, right? So planning as far as your vehicle, your prep. Um, you know, your, your, your spare parts, your, your truck and trailer, all those things. All those things matter when you want to win an event. You got to get to the event, you got to get home from the event, or you can't win the event. You know, you got to have spare parts, but you got to, you know, that all goes into planning, right? So, um, planning is a big key to winning. You got to have a plan before you win in anything, all right? Once you got the vehicle, you know, the, the dyno is important, right? The dyno is important for those competitive classes. It's, it's about 20% important. Many guys go to the track and never go to the dyno at all. If you go to the dyno to test new products or to figure out a problem, those are good solutions. But to constantly beat your vehicle up on the dyno is totally useless, in my opinion. You waste too much effort on that one thing. So, you know, next thing you need to do is you need to work about your, your, your tractor, your vehicle, uh, we'll just say, be your vehicle. So, um, fix all the things that you broke during the season. Throttle cables, uh, hoses that leaked, um, you know, panels that are that got Zeus fasteners that are bad. Anything. There's many things that the vehicle needs. You know, you got tires that need sharpened or, you know, just a multitude of things. There's not a day goes by that there's not something that you can improve upon on that vehicle that has nothing to do with the diamond. Uh, or the engine for that matter. So, um, you know, kind of another thing that, that, that we worry about is, is, is the consultation part, right? So, or, or, the, or the, the education, we'll call it. And, and that's studying your competitor, studying your, 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 your sanctioning body, your tracks, and all those things. Uh, there's, there's probably as much effort lost by not paying attention to the rest of those things that you can learn upon like you know what does the sled do how does it function you know what sleds are different um, who's operating the sled what kind of dirt are we pulling on you know is it night is it day is it east or west facing north or south there's so many things that really matter at the end of the day how to win a pull I mean, there's so many things so so again you, you got to spread out your time here in multiple different things right and then and then um, Probably, you know, lastly is is your uh, your data usage. Um, I'm sure there's more things than this, but you got to kind of the point is to divide it up more evenly than just spending all your time worrying about the dyno and what this guy or that guy has and what I don't have. So, data collection, at, you know, and that's something at GMS that we really really focus on is because data helps win tractor pulls. It might not win today, it might not win tomorrow, but if you compile information over years and years at different tracks and different sleds and all those things, all that adds up. And it adds up in, 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 in so much uh, weight to your team that it's unbelievable the result you'll see at the end. And then you forget, you know, sometimes you'll just forget, right? Then you go out there and you say, okay, well, where was my weights at last night or last year? Well, if I didn't write them down, how do I know? All of us are getting older, we forget more and more you know, so you've got to write things down in order to, to sort of track where you've been and where you want to go. Um, and, and many times with our system, I'll show you here in a second what we use, but uh, 
We'll go back to things that happened two or three years before because we get lost occasionally. Sometimes you'll, you'll, you'll be going down this track and all of a sudden you'll try a new thing right here. Say we're trying to, let's say a new turbocharger. You know, and then all of a sudden it skews over here and we forget, you know, this failed. And where did, we, where did we make this in this timeline? Where did we make that change at? Well, if you don't know, you go back to like this point where then you failed to remember what changes you made in this timeline. So data collection along with times and dates allows you to find out and track you know, at what point in time they make a change and when can I go back to a point that's known that was successful. So, so kind of try to divide your time up into things that are, you know, more even than, than just focusing all on your horsepower. You know, the vehicle needs attention, the truck and trailer needs attention, you know, your wife or girlfriend or mistress needs to have food prepared for you, uh, you know, whatever. I mean, there's, there's so many things. Um, spend time on your data system get notes that you can take. Uh, make a plan to, to spread out your time more evenly, and I promise you it will build a more successful team and a competitive team.